everybody, it's Nicole and it is Wednesday and I am on my way to Joanne. Um and the funny thing Continue is Continue on EO five six oh road for half a mile. You hear the talking in, in the background, that's the uh my GPS because I have yet to figure out where everything is. Um as you know, it's only been just slightly over a month since we've been here. Um, and, and actually, so actually Dan has been with his job for, I think it's the, is it the, so the 10th, he'll have been at his job for two months. But anyway, that's besides the point. So, um, I'm on my way to Joanne, uh, to take my first, uh, look into, uh, what it's like on the inside. Uh, see if it's any different than uh, Hobby Lobby. <clears throat> see if there are any more selections as far as yarn goes. See what the price differences are. Um, and of course, as you all know, in a quarter I love mile, my apps. turn right onto US 177 uh, South, and North Washington stuff. Street. So, um, yeah, uh, I don't know if I'm going to buy anything. Probably not. Uh, I'm just going to hold off on buying uh, anything right now um, in the meantime. Turn right onto US 177 South, North Washington um, Street. To the beginning of October, because supposedly that is when the Social Security Administration said that I should Continue be getting for five miles. Uh, my replacement check for uh, my misdeposited uh, disability check. So that's where that uh is now some of you have said if i could uh, turn the camera around um, for a short bit so you can kind of see the surroundings excuse me um on my way there so i'll just do it for a couple of minutes because there really isn't much to see um, mainly because i'm on the freeway um so i'll do that and then you can kind of see what it's like um and the weird thing is because i live I don't know if it's weird, but um, it's because we live about uh, two miles outside of the city limits, everything is 15 to 20 minutes further than if we were to be living um, inside the city limits. And that's what we wanted. It's a lot safer, um, it's a lot quieter, and so that's why we picked where we picked. So I'm going to pause the uh, video. I'm going to turn the camera around so you can kind of see uh, what it looks like. And then um, I'm going to do like I did with um, the a video that I did for Hobby Lobby. When I go inside, um, it'll be broken up into segments to avoid any sort of copyright problems. Uh, as far as any music because I don't know what kind of music they're going to be playing on the inside and um, so there's that so um, hopefully you won't be able to hear any of the music that I play in my car uh, on my way over to uh, Joanne okay so uh, pausing and you guys can see what it looks like on my way over to um, oops, uh, over to Joanne Okay, so this is what it kind of looks like. You can see um, what it looks like on my way over. Um, this is the nearest, you can see. Uh, this is the nearest Dollar General, which is a very, very dangerous store to go to. Uh, but we do buy a lot of things from that store. Uh, there's a lot of things that we can pick up to fill in, like stuff that um, I know I can get for a lot cheaper than the regular uh, grocery stores and now Walmart and stuff like that. Um, so um, there's a lot of trailer parks, apartment buildings and stuff like that. Um, lots of empty acreage lots that are for sale, stuff like that. So, so yeah, this is, I mean, as you can see, kind of, this is what it looks like. Um, as I make my way over to Joanne. So I am now gonna stop so that I can pay attention better to the road uh, and get me over to Joanne in one piece. So.
So I'll see you when I get into the parking lot, into Joanne, and then I'll, we can head on in and see what it's like, okay? Until then, I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, we are here at Joanne, and um, the see Joanne Fabrics and Crafts. So we are about to head in. I am parked, and um, I may try to sneak in. There's actually a Sally Beauty Supply a couple of doors down to see what kind of stuff they have in there because I need to redo my hair and see what they have. I want to just kind of see what they have available for bleach and for um, color um, because I really need to have all of this redone. Um, and like I said, I'm with the hair anyway, I want to do like a cobalt blue um, and a magenta. You guys picked the second color as magenta. So obviously first you need to do the bleach and then um especially for the roots because as you can see it's grown back to my natural color um but first let's head on into joanne and let's see what it's like on the inside okay so i'll see you guys on the inside okay so uh we're inside as you can see and i actually meant to bring my son's bracelet he had gotten it from a really good friend of his um, back when we were in Hawaii and it broke in school and I wanted to see if I could find some beads to replace the ones that were broken along with the elastic and the letter beads because I don't have them but unfortunately I forgot them in the rush to leave the house so anyway I'm gonna see what I can see if I can't find anything I will always I can always come back and bring him with me so anyway here we are um we're looking around this is right now this is where all this is the cricket which as you guys know i said before i have a cricket i also have the easy press um would love to get the mug press um but right now that's on budget um Let's see, you got vinyls, I've got there's appliques, there's the heat um, transfer vinyls. I see lots of um, storage containers. Um, let's see, what else do we got here? We've got blank shirts, which is always a good thing because um, I want to be able to make t-shirts to eventually, all these ideas are running in my head. So, okay, so they do have, um, they do have beads, um, they have the letter beads, he needs the flat letter beads, um, let's see if they have any, flat letter beads, flat letter beads, flat letter beads, the, you know, the flat circle ones, do not see flat circle ones, nor do I see, um, he um, got it as the, the color of the beads that are on the bracelet is this like really light bluish purple color and I don't see them either. So I may have to just bring him with me so he can take a look. But they do have, they have uh, the cord. Um, so there's that too. So, um, there's these, um, there's these two. I don't think we need quite that much, just a little bit, just to fix the bracelets. Uh, let's see, we've got pom-poms, we've got, uh, googly eyes, we've got popcorn, I've got glitter, which is always a plus, especially when we're talking about my resin stuff. Uh, lots of glitter, which is always an awesome thing. And I love these flat gems. These are always great to put in resin as well. So um, I love, love extra fine glitter. And the price is not that bad either. Um, we've got different shape kind of glitters too, um, and the prices aren't bad either. So there's that. So, um, this, these are, this looks like for paint, since we've got some, um, paint here, 
so let's keep going so if you can see across there there's a bunch of different fabrics and stuff again not a sewer i stink at sewing so uh let's keep moving uh there's obviously there's music playing in the store so i'm going to pause it and um we're going to move on to a different section okay right. here's a section that this is what we were looking for so we've got um we've got the burnap blanket um love love these colors uh this is gorgeous this um violet and purple um, same with the this blue color these ombres so um it's it says it's bernat perfect uh let's see what color is this um it says fuchsia so i'm assuming it can make um this kind of blanket so this looks like a very fall colored some fun different um peacock colors uh there's some violet and purples let's see what else they got down this aisle here so we've got karen we've got red heart um we got more burnett blanket um oh, let's see oh they got big twist big twist is something i also like uh, let's see what else they got Okay, so they've got, um, ooh, these are fun. Um, although I'm not like a big, huge fan of the halo, but I do love this color with the peach and the uh, blue and everything. So this is, uh, looks like it's uh, Colorama Halo. Oh, what else do they got? So they've got this color here they've got um it looks like um i guess more of a green and then the blue they've got uh, orange and pinky purple um what else uh got lavender and white um they've got this so it looks like they've got some you know obviously different um uh, colors and obviously this is like amazing to me because they did not have any of this stuff back home so on this side is the big twist um uh, let's see um they got they have um patents um they've got and this is what is this knit and crochet premium yarn in all different colors, they've got Lion Brand Shubu. Tons of different colors. Um, let's see, what's this? This is 24 7 cotton. This is a lovely red. Uh, let's see. What else they got, guys? Uh, they've got Lion Brand Wool Ease on this side. What else do they got? Alright, looks like they got more here. Okay, so they got Lime Run Hometown. Um, please somebody stop me from buying all of this. All of the yarn. Okay, so then they have um, they have th um, thread. I know somebody who really loves thread. Um, they have the sugar and cream, which is always good for um to use for washcloths, um, for uh, dishcloths and stuff like that because it's 100% cotton, tons of different colors, um, and then of course they've got scrubby yarn, um, what else, oh this is, this. I've never seen this one, uh, this is a sugar and cream scrub off. So it looks like it's got scrubby yarn and regular cotton yarn. So this is kind of like, I would equate it to like if you were to buy a, um, a sponge where one side is scrubby and one side is not. So um, that's what I equate this to. So that's kind of fun. 
Oh, uh, let's see. What else? So this side has more Lion Brand Basic Stitch. Um, Karen Simply Soft. Now I am looking for to see if... Oh, oh my gosh, this is the yarn that I have been dying to buy like forever. Lion Brand Ice Cream. Oh my gosh, I have been dying to buy this yarn forever. Okay, so when I get some cash, I am buying like every single color love this color love that color love that color and that color and that color and that color um love the blue down there um i love that color definitely come back back to buy this okay um they also have um the lion brand feels like butter i'm looking for that darn good yarn that I thought I saw, was it that Thris said that she saw at hers? Was it as Joanne? Um, I have yet to see it yet. All I see is Bernat. See the Red Heart Super Saver. Um, maybe it's in the next aisle. Okay, so. Um, more of this Halo stuff. Um, and if you can see right there, right here, this is a uh, glow in the dark yarn. Always fun. Okay, so no, they don't have any more, but this is, um, looks like uh, knitting needles. They've got uh, crochet hooks, um, clover, always a great brand boy always a great brand if you're looking for something as a starter um look at this hook guys look at that that's a size t um susan bates also a good brand to start um well look at that they have um they have these like comfort grips here um and the price is not bad it's 4.49 depending on the size so um i mean like this size here which is a size three which is a three and a quarter um this one is 229 um so we've got a very wide variety of different kinds of hooks so every kind of um hook you could possibly think of now let's see what else they got. they've got stitch counters they've got darning needles they've got pom-pom uh, makers um learn to crochet kits those are always great for people who are trying to learn how to crochet or knit because they've got this one uh, learn to knit um, let's see. Oh, look, they've got storage bags. Oh, I need one of these. Um, they've got looms, another storage bag. Um, these are always nice. Uh, the LED lights. Um, and then on this side is all ribbons, all kinds of ribbons okay so and then more um this is floss i used to use floss i don't know about you guys but i used to use floss to make friendship bracelets those were always a lot of fun i used to make tons of friendship bracelets for, for my um in high school and in middle school let's see what else do they have what else do they have okay so this is all patterns here sewing patterns more sorry I don't, I don't like this kind, and it's uh, the Alize uh, brand uh, yarn inspirations. Um, yarn, I'm not a big fan of it. The colors are fabulous, but um, it looks like you can use these um, so that you don't need to have a crochet hook to make like blankets and stuff. So there's that. Um. This is the respun. This is the stuff that is, I believe, from I, if I remember, this is re recycled plastic um, yarn. Um, so um, it's um, it's a bit 
scratchy but still nice the colors are really nice um more big twist um but no no darn good yarn but that's okay um i know that um from what i've been told not all of the um stores have all the same thing so um so we're now down to all of the notions for sewing and stuff like that so i'm gonna pause and we're gonna head on over to the other side of the store okay so this is the clearance um the like so this is the clearance here this is the clearance yarn and i see they got a lot of this ogo yarn um, I never did use any of the ogre yarn that I got. Supposedly, it's supposed to be easier to use because it's got that, like, quick start. Um, but a lot of, as you know, a lot of yarn companies have the easy start. So, I don't know. Got a fair selection of the ogre yarn of different colors. They've got, um the Bernat uh, Baby Blanket, more Ogo, uh, Red Heart Soft, oh, let's see, what else, looks like macrame, so, um, let's see, how much is this Ogo, so it's $4.97 for this Ogo, so, I don't know, this is a nice color, um, Hold on. Let me actually show you the color, um, if it will let me. Um, so this is the color. So it's a lavender, uh, like a dark purple, and then like a mauve color. So it's nice. This one's a little bit more expensive than the other one I showed you. Um, I think it's because it's it's the Bernat blanket. So. Uh, but they have other colors, um, like this, uh, like sherbet. I don't know if it's just like black or gray, uh, mustard color. So again, a little bit more expensive because I think it's, um, it's, um, a blanket. Whereas this one, um, is just like to make the stocking cap. So, um, this one is a couple of dollars cheaper okay i do notice that they have a very large of uh, fabric section not that there's anything wrong with that um but they do have a very large fabric section um but the upside is now that i can order um from michael's joanne and from uh hobby lobby and not have to worry quite so much that shipping is going to be out of this world um, I may be able to get my anniversary cake because I could not get one because I lived in Hawaii. They wouldn't ship it to Hawaii. Um, and um, if they do indeed have the darn good yarn at Joanne, um, then I may be able to order it and have it shipped to my house. So we will see about doing that once I get some cash in my pocket, once bills are paid. Because the way I do things and I always have is um, bills always get paid first and then um, any extra um, money and pocket money uh, will go towards obviously things that you know the kids need you know for school etc cetera, etc cetera. and then um, also things that maybe that I want i.e. yarn <laughs> so um, hopefully i will be getting that replacement money from my from social security here next week because that's what i was supposedly told and then i will be able to sit down and take a look at their website and put in an order along with an order to hobie and order into a couple of other places who have been sending me a gajillion emails asking me what happened to you what happened to you what happened to you and make use of some of the coupons or sales that they have um because i do want to do that so that was joanne um i like the store the store's not really all that big but i um am not disappointed uh the store itself has a lot to offer 
um and definitely has a lot of yarn uh, that i did not have access to so i look forward to coming back with you guys and uh, picking out a couple of things um that i would like to then turn around and share with you and then also re um stock my stash because my stash has now dwindled down to half of what it, it was um and then hopefully um either this week or next week i'm going to sit down because i do have some storage units um or it's not in units but shelves and cabinets or whatever that i had ordered and brought with me that i bought when we were in hawaii and put them together and uh, put them together and start putting things away i just need to buy the dang desk so that because i really am itching to pour resin for you guys again um because I know you guys love seeing that stuff. So I want to be able to start doing that again. Um, I also have been itching to crochet again. I do have an Afghan kit already that I purchased several months ago. So I want to be able to do that as well. So I'm going to, again, I'm going to pause it. I'm going to hop back in the car and close this up. Um, and then head back on home because yeah, the, uh, this was like, yes, this was planned. Um, but I kind of got turned around in getting to the store because I'm obviously still getting to know the area. So I got a little flustered in, uh, getting here. So, uh, oh, and I'm going to try to, uh, swing by Sally beauty supply and see what they have in there. Um, and what they have available, um, and see how much it is okay so uh be back in a little bit i cannot wait to shop at joanne's i know it's joanne i'm excited to get uh several skeins of ice cream yarn several skeins of every single yarn in that dang store every single skein in um in hobby lobby uh, Michael's unfortunately is not in Stillwater. The closest one is in Oklahoma City, which is over an hour away, and that's just no, not possible. Um, unless I do a side trip, because uh, Dan actually is going have will have to be traveling back to Hawaii. He has been subpoenaed uh, to be a witness in a court case when he used to work for um, his last job. So um, I apologize. This is like the road is really rough because I live on a gravel road. Anyhow, so stoked to take advantage of all of the free shipping. Stoked to take uh, advantage of every single um, like sale that was not available to me in Hawaii. Um, cheaper shipping from everywhere and all of that stuff. Now, I, I know I have things that I need to ship out, um, and, but as you know, uh, money is, yeah. Anyway, um, we're not gonna go there because I am excited and I'm not gonna complain about any of that. We're not gonna talk about that. Once um, that situation is resolved, um, I will take care of shipping out everything. So I apologize to everybody um for all of that mix up and all that nonsense that the federal government did but um anyway uh, super excited super super excited looking forward to restocking my stash looking forward to um to everything and looking forward to um i don't know uh, having you guys come back with me to those shops and uh, watching me, uh, you know, pick out what I want to pick out uh, without obviously going too overboard uh, because I want to be very conscientious about what I pick out because um, I, want, I don't want to go insane because I don't want my husband to be like, what in the heck did you just buy? Why did you, why are there like 500 bags of yarn where you don't need them? Anyway, um, so yeah. That was a lot of fun, even though I didn't stay there for very long because the anxiety was starting to kick in. Um, but that was fun. That was so much fun. You, yeah. Um, I don't know. You guys probably think I'm like um, being cuckoo, but it was a lot of fun. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as I did, um, which is probably why the camera is going all over the place because I'm like 
super stoked about it all. Um, I, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to being able to have a little bit of extra cash to be able to spend it on myself, um, to buy my birthday present, to also um, have money to recolor my janky hair. <laughs> um, and then because it will be some form of blue and some form of magenta. I uh, haven't quite decided how I'm going to play all of that, but I definitely need to bleach it. But we're going to have some fun. Um, and then once I do get my craft desk, that is when the resin pouring will recommence, y'all. Um, I'm sure you guys are missing all that, and I am missing it too. Um, I'm thinking maybe in the next couple of days, I'm going to pull out that uh, crochet kit that I purchased several months ago and see if I can sit down and start uh, crocheting it. Uh, it's a peacock uh, afghan and seeing if I can do it. We'll see if it's too complicated or not. Um, but yeah, I, I want to see if I can do it because I've been wanting to do it. So. Uh, if I can and if it turns out okay and if anybody wants to, I don't know, purchase it, that would help me out tremendously and it will go towards my, um, my, you can see there, I know that's probably TMI now, right? There's like two teeth here that are missing and then there's, there's a tooth there that's missing, so anyway that's probably tmi anyway that money will go directly to um that fund um so yeah that's like three teeth there's like and that's missing down here so anyway i'll stop doing that that's just no all right so um i am going to head back inside the house hubby should be home soon he is going to be exhausted because right now he is going through firefighter training and EMT training. Um, and he's going to have, he is having to work extra this week because of that. Um, so uh, even though he is, um, his normal days off are Thursday, Friday, Saturday this week, he is going to have to work on Thursday and Friday because he has to do uh, medical training uh, for his firefighter training. Um, so he's trying to decide if he's going to get overtime <clears throat> or if he is going to try, he's, if he's going to get Saturday uh, off and or if he wants to take Saturday off and then Sunday off or whatever. So anyway, that's that. Um, I will be quiet now because you guys are probably sick and tired of hearing me talk because I yammer on too much, but I will, um, probably hop on when I start the Afghan um, I'm hoping that will be in the next couple of days um, let's see how I do maybe I'll do it as a live as a quiet crafting type thing um, I'll what I'm gonna do is I'll probably start working on it and see how I feel see how comfortable I feel with it and then if I feel comfortable with it then I'll be like okay Nicole's good with this let's hop on um, and then um, we'll do it as a live. Okay, so until the next one, I will talk to you everybody later. Bye.